It's not fair. You need regular food, company. What are you saying? Well, after a lot of consideration, I've realised the kindest thing to do is to put you out of your misery. I'm really sorry, Tony. If there was any other way... There is. You could hand yourself in. How long till she links you to the other deaths? If you give yourself up, you, you'll be in control. You can explain yourself to her and Silva. They'd never understand. Yeah, they would. Once they've seen how many children that you saved. I've always admired your optimism, Tony. I'm more of a realist. Here. At least we don't have to worry about your teeth now. If you do this, you're going to undo your life's work. People will just think you're a cold-blooded killer. The men I killed did not deserve to be fathers. I do. My kids think I'm left. Do you know what that's to a child growing up thinking that your father doesn't care? Mm, you'd be surprised how quickly little minds adapt. They never forget. Breeda, please, just, just let me go. I've said goodbye to enough children. Father is a title someone has to earn. Children are a blessing. They deserve a happy life. Mine have been through so much. Harry was a bad blueberry. We all know what they do. They infect the healthy ones. I did you a favour. He was my child. Yeah, he might not have always stayed on the right path, but he was good inside. He could have made something of himself. Harry was a grown man. He made his decision. Did he? Missed out so much. And maybe if I'd have been there, things could have been different, but I was too late. That wasn't your choice. No. But this is yours. Everything I've done, I've done to protect my children. OK, what about now? Think of the pain you caused. Goldie and Silver, they think you're dying of some terrible disease. How long are you going to keep that up for? Will you stop talking? Just stop talking! Dear God. Brian's not going to help, Breda. Breda? Breda, no. Breda, please. I told you to leave me alone. Look, no way. What you said this morning about there being a time that you might not be able to remember stuff. Goldine. I want you to know what an amazing mum you are. You have always put me in silver first. Now it's our turn. Mum, it's breaking my heart knowing that this illness is going to get worse. But no matter how hard it is, me and Silver will always be there right until the very end. Okay. Mum, are you there? in the back. Open it. You'll need those tomorrow. When you go home. <laughs> <laughs> 